Okay, question number five on the multiple choice says, find all the zeros for the rational number f of x equals x plus 1 times x squared minus 4 times x minus 5 over x plus 1 quantity squared times x minus 2. Okay, so to find the zeros, we need to find all the values on the top that, um, where f of x equal to 0. But also, we want to make sure that we eliminate any holes that there might be in the, in the function. So holes means that any, any factors on the top that cancels with a factor on the bottom, that would, that would be a hole and not an actual um, point on the x-axis. So let's go ahead and completely factor anything that hasn't been completely factored to see if anything cancels the top and the bottom. So x plus 1 has been completely factored. x squared minus 4 has not be, been completely factored, so we have to change this. x minus 5 is also fine. x plus 1 quantity squared is factored. x minus 2 is factored. So for x squared minus 4, that's a difference of squares. And that's of the type x squared minus y squared equals x plus y, x minus y, okay? So in this case, x is x, and y squared is 4. That means that y has got to be the square root of 4, or 2, because this is 4, so this has to be the square root of 4, okay? So that means that we're going to have 0 equals x plus 1, and now we have x plus y, y being 2, and then x minus y, y being 2, times x minus 5. And now on the bottom, everything stays the same, x plus 1 squared, x minus 2. Now that we've gotten this completely factored, let's see what crosses out. So x plus 1 crosses out with one of the x plus 1's on the bottom, and then x plus x uh, minus 2 crosses out with x minus 2. So let's just write down what we have left, which is x plus 2, x minus 5 over x plus 1. So this x plus 1 is going to isn't going to come into play for this question because we're just finding the um, x-intercepts and when we multiply this over there, it's going to go to zero. Now, we set x plus 2 equal to zero and x minus 5 equal to zero. Each one of these equal to zero. Subtracting 2 from each side, we get x equals negative 2. And on this side, we add 5 to get x equals to 5. Okay? And we can even go ahead and plug it back into the original equation to make sure that those work and uh, that we don't get an indeterminate number. See, if you would have made the mistake of not canceling out the holes, um, which are th this one and that one, those are holes at negative 1 and a hole at x equals 2, um, when you have plugged those holes back in there, you would, would have gotten a denominator that was zero, and you would have seen that there was something wrong and that couldn't be an x, um, an x intercept. So the answers are x equals negative 2 and x equals 5, which is choice B.